Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest version of Volks along with the best place to get support. Now, if you are new to all this and you've never heard of Volks, we are a Valorant profile editor that allows you to change your rank, set a custom status, and troll your friends with the best capabilities possible. Now, with that all being said, I do recommend you join the Discord server below, which is discord.gg4 slash Volks. And other than that, let's get straight into the tutorial. Now the first thing you are going to want to do is go to the description and follow the link below. Once you are here, you want to go ahead and subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitter, and then it's going to unlock the link. From here, it's going to take you to the official GitHub page where you can download the latest version of release, along with find the source code in the code section. For any more information regarding Volks, you're going to find a readme below which contains details on the project along with how to get started. Now once you have clicked download Volks, you want to make sure you save it to a folder that's accessible on your desktop or anywhere in fact. And then from there, you want to go ahead and open up the folder, launch Volks.exe. Make sure you click this and run anyway, and you're going to be taken straight to the application. Make sure you click allow access. Now from here, you want to make sure you click I'm not a robot. Go ahead and scroll down, click free access, and then click continue to access Volks dashboard. Now once you are here, it's important to remember you do need to launch Valorant. And as you can see, Valorant has synced up with our client and it says, hey Kintashi. Now what you want to go ahead and do is click let's go. You can click yes or no here. Yes or no here and then click continue. Now this will be the default area you can edit any of your details and change your profile. If I go ahead and check Valorant, as you can see, this is the default profile. And going from here, you can go ahead and click here and you can find all of the possible ranks. So we can go to platinum one. We can go ahead and set our leaderboard position to 21 and go ahead and set our status to hey. Now if we go ahead and go in game, as you can see, we have the status of hello, platinum one and hashtag 21. Now, important thing to remember, some things will have notes on explaining how they work and what their setbacks are. For example, note, this value will only show for friends that are not in your party, this will not show on your client. Now, as you can see, it says level 18. However, for this person here, they will see it as level 727. Moving on, we also have a cool little system message where if you type hello, it will go ahead and show in your game down in below. Now, note, this is client-sided, so only you can see this. Moving on, if you go ahead and click the little blue icon, you're able to change your status here. Now if I go to D&D &D and go into game, as you can see, we have the red version mismatch. If we go ahead and set it to stream, as you can see, we have the purple icon. And if we go to available, it will remove the status altogether. Now another cool feature within Vox, if you go ahead and go to the special category, you're going to have special one, which is empty, and it will remove your rank. Moving on from this, you will have unranked, unused one, and unused two. So if we go ahead and click special three. As you can see, our rank is unused one. Now these are secret developer things that we use when originally testing ranks, I can assume. However, they are pretty pointless, just cool to show off to your friends. Now heading back to the little tool tips, if you do want to disable them, you can go ahead and click settings, false, and save. And now as you can see, the little tool tips have all disappeared and you will no longer see them. Last but not least, if you go to search friends, you will see a complete friends list along with the ones that are online and their details. We do plan on later adding an option so you can click it and see their profile and what they have assigned, but for now, this is a work in progress. Now, apart from that, that basically covers everything in the tutorial, so make sure you do go below and follow the link. Make sure you do follow the steps and go ahead and download Vox today.